Okay, what's going on guys? It's Willy Tone Zone Wazo Wazo. Today I'm going to show you how to route superior drummer drums in Logic. So the first thing, um, I'm going to delete all these tracks. This is a drum template that I made, but we're going to pretend it doesn't exist yet. So give me two seconds. All right. Okay, so now we just got superior drummer and my microphone, but that, that doesn't matter. So superior drummer we'll open that up um so what you want to do is you know first get your drum kit prepared so find the sounds that you like like i got my snare my four toms got the ride back hi-hat and all that stuff yeah, it's kind of quiet but whatever okay so here's the deal all right superior drummer you can just have the plug-in play and just have it come out of one and two and use the mixer within the uh, superior drummer to make your sound and stuff. But if you want to put your plugins and, you know, make make more of a sound that you like and have more control over your individual tracks of your drums, then we want to multi multi output all these uh, tracks to their own channel. So what you want to do is go to the mixer tab of superior drummer and we're gonna take we're gonna set each channel here to a different output so let's start with the kick drum so we're gonna hit one and two right here and then we're gonna set it to three and four all right so that this is important we're starting at out out three and four so we're gonna click that and then we're gonna send the kick out to five and six and the kick sub i'm not going to use so we're just going to mute that um the snare top we're going to put seven and eight uh the bottom nine and ten and then so on i'll just i'll just keep going through this and the uh, toms right here um, i'm going to set them all to their individual outputs as well um i actually don't use t rack tom three so we can just pretend that doesn't exist. And then the floor tom 1 will send to 17 and 18. Floor tom 2, 19 and 20. And then the last uh, couple things here is um, the overheads and the, the ambience, the room mics. So we'll set the, uh, the overhead dynamics um, to 21 and 22. And then the ambient, uh, the room mic to 23 and 24. There we go. Now we have all our drums uh, routed out and now we need to make channels for it. All right, so here, let me just check um, check the level of the, the things in the ambient mic. Okay, bring down symbol four a bit. All right, now we're gonna go back to the logic uh, interface here and we're gonna create, um, how many tracks do we need to make? We need to make so one, two, three, four, five, uh, four toms, that's nine, 10, 11. So we need, we need 11, 11 audio tracks. So let's go to the plus here and create 11 audio tracks. There we go. All right, so after you have your 11 audio tracks created, you wanna go to the superior um, channel. We're gonna press X to show the mixer and we're gonna um, create the uh, channels for each uh, drum instrument part. So just hit the plus here. And it's going to create all the channels. And you can see up here, it'll say superior three and four, five and six, seven and eight. And we're going to go all the way up to, I believe, 23 to 24. So go like that. Just keep pressing the plus until. There you go. So that's our last channel. That'll be the, the room channel. All right. Now the next thing you want to do is for organization purposes is name these things. So I'm going to quickly do that. Right, now after you've named your tracks you want to send them to a bus 
So then you can use those buses to send it to an audio channel to record. So first thing, we'll, we'll start with the first kick here. Kick in and we'll take the outputs at stereo out right now. You want to set it to a bus. So we'll try, let's try bus starting at bus six and then we'll just keep going along for the rest of them until we're out of channels. Alright, so after you create all your buses here, um, they should pop up over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight them all, all the yellow tracks here, and we're going to do create tracks so we can see it in this window here. So now we have all our aux tracks and if we play like a drum beat or something, let's, let's try this. It should be coming through here. Alright, so um, I accidentally mixed up one of the buses, but that's fine. I'm just going to name it just so uh, we don't get confused. This is actually the snare bottom. So we'll put that there. So I'm going to go through and name the rest of the tracks. Okay, there we have it. So we've named all our bus tracks to match our other tracks. Now we have to send them to these audio tracks so we can print them out as uh, audio files. So um, we're going to take the input of our first audio channel and set it to bus 6, which is our kick. So we'll do that. And um, then for the kick out, we'll do bus 7 and so on. And I'll just fast forward this. Alright, so now everything's routed. I'm going to quickly name it, name the tracks again. And great, now we have all our audio tracks. And to test this, I'm going to I'm going to highlight these all. And I'm going to hit the record enable button here. And I'm going to drop a groove, like a MIDI groove, into the uh, MIDI track here for Superior Drummer. So let's take, uh, let's take that groove that we were just playing. Just put it there. Now, if we hit record, it should track into audio files. And then we can control our tracks from, from the mixer window, from the logic window. So now that we have our drum tracks printed out, let's check each one and see if it all matches up to what we routed. So let's check it. So that's good. I'm just going to mute these so I can hear the whole drums at once. Now there's one last thing 
I would like to mention is that all these tracks are mono currently, right? So I would I would keep all of these from kick one all the way to the floor tom, the second floor tom, keep it mono. You want all these close mics individually to sound by themselves. And then the overheads and room mics, I recommend putting these into stereo tracks. So all you have to do is click on the track and go to the input and hit the channel mode right here. And it'll switch to stereo. Then you can do the same for the room mic. And now if we were to re-record the tracks, let's do this. If you record all the tracks, it should print out as a stereo. So now after printing those, we can look at the track and see that it's now a stereo track. There's things happening on both sides here. So um, let's have a listen. Awesome. So now you have your drums printed out into Logic, and now you can use your plugins, whatever EQ or, or saturation or compression, you can throw it on your channels. And that concludes today's video on how to route Superior Drummer into Logic. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.